What I'm going to do in this particular video is show you the different ways that you can save the information inside of OneNote. The first thing is I'm going to come up here to File and I'm going to select on the File tab. If you decide that you want to take the information that is inside of OneNote, you can select the File tab and you can come down here to Save As. This gives you the opportunity to either save each of the pages inside of Microsoft OneNote, each of the sections, or the entire notebook. In this case, I'm going to click to save the individual page that I'm on. And the first thing that I'm going to focus on is saving it either as a Microsoft Word document or as a PDF file. So I'm going to focus on those two. So I'm going to click on Microsoft Word and I'll click Save As just to give you the opportunity to see what will happen. In this case, it basically says, what do you want this to be called? On my computer, in the desktop, I'm going to click on this area and I'm going to say new folder and that's because I just want a holding area for all of the information so I'm going to say saved OneNote pages and once I click on enter or press in this case I'm going to double click to open up this notebook folder and this is where I'm going to put my information in so I'm going to name the file and in this case I'm going to call it um, OneNote Word page and I can't remember the content but I'm going to make sure that for page range it just saves the selected pages and I'll click on save and at this point Microsoft OneNote is going to export this page information into Microsoft Word and it's still going to be available inside of Microsoft OneNote. Now that that has completed what I'm going to do is minimize this area I'm going to double click on the folder. I'm going to double click on OneNote Word page so you can see the contents. Now that the page is opened up, you can see that the content can be edited inside of Microsoft Word. And now you can see that the information is also available in that particular format. So that's what you can do in order to save your pages inside of Microsoft Word. So I'm going to close this area. I'm not going to save it and I'm going to close this as well and I'm going to navigate back inside of OneNote. If I want this page to be saved as a PDF file, what I could do is click on File. In this instance, I'll select Save As. I'm still focused on this one page and I want to save it as a PDF file. That means that whoever it is that I want to share this with can view it as long as they have Adobe Reader. So Adobe Acrobat Reader is all they need to open this with. So I'm going to click on PDF and I'm going to select Save As. And in this instance, I'm still looking at my desktop. It's still going to be in that same folder. And I'm going to call it Word. I'm sorry. I'm going to call it What's New PDF. And again, my page range is still the selected pages. And I'm going to click on Save. And what's going to happen is it's going to save this information in a PDF format and that way it will be viewable for the people who have Adobe Acrobat Reader, which everybody can get at no charge. So I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to double click on the folder and when I open it up, I should see the contents of the information that I exported from Microsoft OneNote. Here I can scroll down. And unlike Microsoft Word, I don't have the ability to edit the content, but yet it reflects the same information that I saw in the Word pages. And you can see that I have four pages. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to close out of this section. I'm going to close this area again. I'm going to turn my attention back to Microsoft OneNote. Now the goal is to take a look at all of the content that is in this one section called OneNote Guide. I can save all of that data into Microsoft Word. How? I just go in and I click on the File tab. I'm going to select Save As. Over to the right, this time I'm going to select Section. This is going to give me the opportunity to either export this information into either the Word formats that I desire I'm going to choose Word document again because this is good and compatible with the 2007 version and all the way up to 2013. Or if you find that there are people who still use 97 through 2003, you can save it in those versions as well. I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to select Save As. And at this point, it's allowing me to 
go back to the same area and so I'm going to leave this as OneNote Guide and I'm going to put in four word and you'll notice that for page range this time it's going to say current section I click on save I go in and I'm going to minimize this particular window once the save process stops it has now we're going to investigate we're going to double click on the folder here we find that there is the particular file and now we should see all the contents of that one section exported into Microsoft Word and so now we can actually see that taking place and if I were to scroll down a little bit you see all of that information is here in that particular format now with that being said we're going to use the same exact process to make a PDF file just in case the person doesn't have Microsoft Word. So I'm going to close this format and in this instance I'll close this out. I'll go back inside of Microsoft OneNote. At this point I'm going to click on File. Now I'm also going to select Save As and you know the story I'm going to select Section and over to the right I'm going to choose PDF and I'm going to select Save As. This is going to save it in a different version Again, it's going to be OneNote Guide. I'm going to save it as a PDF. The page range is current section. I click on Save, and once I'm done with that, at that point I can go and verify on the desktop that this file was really created. So we're going to minimize this, double click on the folder, and once that opens up, I apologize, I made a mistake. Once that opens up from the desktop, I'm going to go back in that folder, and now I can see I have the OneNote Guide in PDF format. This time I have 16 pages and you can see as I scroll down all of the contents of that one section is actually reflected in this area. I want to show you one more thing. I'm going to close out of that particular section. The last thing that I want to show you is that Microsoft OneNote has the ability to export the entire notebook. You can export the contents of the entire notebook. And so with that being said, I'm going to click on File in order to export all the contents into Microsoft Word, I'm going to use the same process to select Save As. I'm going to choose Notebook, and this time it's not giving me the option of saving that inside of Microsoft Word. So what I'm going to do here is choose PDF, and now I'm going to select Save As. And what I'll notice is that I can save the entire notebook in a PDF format, and I'm going to say entire for that notebook and I'm going to click Save As and once this finishes we're going to have the opportunity to see that grocery list and book is included in that particular export so I'm going to double click on the folder and at this point I'm going to double click on OneNote Guide and this time we have 18 pages and I'm just going to pull this all the way down and point out a couple of things here is where you can see that the name of a section is shown right beside the page number in the export. So as I move down, and more specifically, just trying to find the other items that I added in. For example, when I went in and added the grocery section for items to pick up, now I can see that page is here, and I can see that the section title is located in that area. And the very last part is that book page reflects the contents of that section inside of OneNote and you do have the opportunity to see that yes it really exported the entire contents of OneNote into a PDF format. Now one thing that I want to point out is that you'll notice that when you decided that you wanted to save the entire notebook for Microsoft Word it doesn't allow you to do that in Microsoft OneNote 2010 however you do have the option of making the editorial changes so that you can export the content into a PDF format which can then be read by anybody that has Microsoft, not Microsoft, by anybody that has Adobe Acrobat Reader. So that's very beneficial.